Hello guys, I am Joshua 600 and welcome to part two of trying the games on the Pico Interactive Collection 3 cartridge here on the Evercade. Let's just get started, shall we? We're going to be starting with Zero Tolerance, the first person shooter. Ooh, exciting. It's a Zero Tolerance is an FPS for one player, Europa 1, the flagship of the Planet Defense Corps. Has been attacked and infested by aliens. It's up to you as the five commandos of the Zero Tolerance Squad to, elim to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat and erase all evidence of the infection. Blast your way through 40 levels and eliminate all the enemies on each floor to complete your mission. History. There weren't many first-person shooters released for 16-bit home consoles, and developer Technopop believes Zero Tolerance was the first of its kind on its original host platform. Given the absence of the biggest names in the genre on that particular system, most reviewers from that period agreed that this was a very good substitute. Katie says, don't underestimate the pistol in this game. The, unlike those seen in many other FPSs, the pistol here continues to be a viable weapon against most enemies. Okay, so I was taking a look at the controls before this, so it's, it all kind of makes sense. B cycles through items. A is fire. Also use the extinguisher. Uh, and X is kind of like your action button, whereas up plus X jumps, down plus X ducks, and left and right it does the sidestep, and start is map and also select menu items so after you cycle through them so yeah that all makes sense to me let's start original game by randall race copyright pico interactive okay there's no i don't have a password let's start three two one let's pickle planet defense core Homeworld 8, okay. Insertion craft en route to Space Station Europa 1. Code name, Zero Tolerance. Get ready, soldiers, for another glorious day in the Planet Defense Corps. You're about to do the job you were trained to do. You are absolutely the toughest of me and soldiers in the Corps. Now listen up to the briefing. There's still no contact with Planet Defense's Orwell Space Station Europa 1. Here's a recording of their last received transmissions. You can see the crew has been overcome by hostile aliens. Due to, to the exchange of small arms fire, the nuclear cooling system has been damaged. Core breach caused by overheating will occur within hours. Okay. The mission is to infiltrate the station, gain control of Europe. Uh, oh, Europe 1? I thought it was Europa 1. Europe 1 by eliminating all en enemy aliens. Good luck. Okay, soldiers, you heard the briefing as you know the routine. We're here and we're gonna kick some. Hit them fast and hard. I want clean elimination of all targets. Let's go. Okay. Put start to select. Well, uh, do they medical combat? Specialists with advanced training and projectile weapons. Evasion. Multiple disciplinary actions for insubordination. And conduct unbecoming an officer. No. Hey. She is also highly accurate. Marksman and consistent hit. Ooh. Accuracy of such targets 100 out of 100. It's code Psycho. Um, I don't know who to pick. I'll go with the 100 out of 100 accuracy one. I'm going to make a save state right here. Okay. Okay, so docking bay level one, not secured. Docking bay one. Shotgun collected. Okay. okay. Right now I'm just trying to figure out like like get a handle on everything. Ah.
I don't think the does the sidestepping even work. I don't know. Do I need this yet? Where's my health bar? It's it's probably on the right. I think it's at ninety. I think I'm at ninety nine. And this is back in the main area. Shotgun collected. Shotgun collected. Do all the dead bodies have guns? I mean, this is interesting so far. It's hitting me. Where is he? Maybe I want to go and collect that one that was back out here. Do I see any other weapon out here? Okay. So far, I think I'm getting the hang of this game. Still two big areas left. Well, three, three big areas. They attack me before I can see them. Alright, okay, I'm going back into that other med pack. It's gonna take a while, but I think it's worth it. I'm only at 16 health. Okay. 
I'm gonna make a safe state. Ooh, med pack. Yes. Okay, so there's another med pack available on the right side. Oh, there's another two med packs available. Grab this one. Is there anyone left? Not to do this side. So I'm at basically full health now. A lot of enemies on this side. Did they proceed to next level? Do it. Yes. Floor secured. So that's uh, that's it for uh, zero tolerance. Uh, I like it so far, um, and yeah, I think that's it for that. I'm yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for zero tolerance right now. I like that. So yeah, let's uh, move on to the next game, which is going to be Punch King. Punch King is a boxing game for one player. As up-and-coming boxer Tiger Armstrong, there are 12 fearsome opponents between you and Victory against the current... So there are 12 fearsome opponents between you and Victory against the current Punch King, Bucky Booth. Challenge them all in arcade mode. Face off against a favorite rival in versus mode to see how many successive victories you can score in survival mode. History. Punch King was originally developed by a company called Full Fat, whose specialism has always been handheld games. Punch King is a relatively rare example of them producing an all-original game. Much of their other work consists of licensed titles or ports of games from other platforms. Katie says, Punch King is a tough game, so don't be discouraged if you lose your first few bouts. Look for patterns, dodge your opponent's attacks, and strike when the time is right. I'm really bad at these kinds of games. Like, um, punch out similar kinds of games. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to do very well. But we will see. Let's look at the controls. So, A, B is left punch, right punch, dodge left, dodge right, move character, up is block, down is... Up is bl high block, low block. Wow, so left punch, then dodge. Jeez, okay. That's going to be confusing, but we're, we'll try it. Acclaim. Th 
Three, two, one, let's pickle. Punch King. Let's look at options. There's always a music test. We'll just do our case. Okay, do you think you got you got what it takes to be a punch king? Sure. I feel like I'm ready to take on the world. Look, kid, it's gonna be tough out there. There's no walk in the park. Come on, Joe, I'm ready. I've got what it takes to be punch king. I thought so too once, but I was wrong. What, you were a fighter? Don't be surprised. I nearly became punch king a long time ago. What happened? I was in Poland. I don't like to talk about it. I understand. I'll do you proud. What you need to worry about, kid, is the current Punch King, Bucky Booth. Bucky Booth. Silky smooth skills and a punch to have nightmares about. In fact, the only thing bigger than his punch is his ego. I'll be ready, Joe. My youth and your experience, an unbeatable combination. That's the spirit. I'm ready to take him on, Joe. All of them. Then let's go. Show me what you've got, kid. Okay. What ho, some new blood. Let's see what you've got. What a friendly person. It seems like a nice guy to be on your toes. Okay, so I'm gonna quick save here. Come on, punch! Your footwork could be better, but good show anyway. He's boxing ring. What? I don't even understand what happened. I was winning at the beginning. I don't know what all this stuff and those arrows mean on the side. I win. How did I win? <laughs> I don't know. I think I got lucky. You beat me! Fantastic! You've got quite a way to go, but I think you'll do fine. No, I won't do fine. What a gentleman. It seems almost a shame to beat him. That's the first step on the road to victory. Well done. Okay. Juan Jablo. I am the finest boxer in all of China. Foreign devil, you cannot beat my dragon style. This one's very confident. Maybe he's as good as he says. They train them to believe they are unbeatable here. Watch out. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll quick save. It seems like no matter what I do, um... Oh, the god, that dragon.
See, I'm pressing A and B, and not all of them, they're not always punching. I don't understand, like right now, they're, I, ca I can't punch. I have to, like, I'm spamming the button. Jab when he's off guard. I'm trying, but it won't let me punch! Right now. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the button. It won't let me do anything. I'm not a fan of this because I because the controls feel inconsistent. I don't understand what I I don't understand what I'm doing. What are those arrows on the side? Like, I even dodged right there. Do you have a- do you have a limit to what you can do, uh, to how much you can punch? Is that what that green bar is? Below your health? Is that like a- a punch meter? Like, you're only allowed to punch a certain amount? Wait, why does he have so much health? There's no way he took away all my health and I've been I've been hitting him though. Alright, we're trying that again. Hold on. Um, I ha I forgot to I haven't been looking at the manuals or the manual for uh, I didn't look at it for zero tolerance either I forgot to um, but let's see what it says for this game tip while well, moving while moving the d-pad while pressing a punch button forms different types of attack according to the direction you press okay that doesn't really help me Oh, my punches do nothing. Like, they, like, do no damage. One, two, three. I don't know. Yeah, that green meter, that green bar is must be some kind of punch, punch meter. You have to you have to have some juice left before you're allowed to punch. I've never seen a game about punching have a punch meter like that. How'd he still hit me? I was nowhere near him. Yeah, I'm I'm not liking this. Okay, we're gonna move on. Just because I I I figured I at least figured that out, you know, about the punch meter thingy. Um, let's see what the manual says about zero tolerance before we move on. Actually, the number on the left side of the screen indicates how many enemies remain on the current level. The number of your right is your remaining health. Okay, that's extremely good to know. 
That is extremely good to know while playing Zero Tolerance, that the number on the left side of the screen is how many enemies remaining. Okay, that is good. So what's the next game that uh, we're playing? I have it on my list, Radical Bikers. Okay, next up is Radical Bikers, and then what's after? <laughs> okay, I know what's next. Radical Bikers is a racing game for one player. Test your pizza delivery skills in the timed arcade mode. Beat the clock in time trial mode or take on rivals in race mode. This 8-bit handheld port of a well-loved Galco arcade game was never released back in the day, despite its development being mostly complete. Now you can enjoy its first official release on Evercade. History. Radical Bikers was originally de developed for arcades by Spanish developer Galco in 1998 and saw a port to 32-bit home consoles. The isometric 8-bit reimagining uh, re was previously unreleased, but now you can enjoy it on Evercade. Katie says, Mastering this game is all about getting used to the controls. Note that steering is always relative to the direction your bike is facing. Okay, so steer, accelerate, and brake. Okay. Radical Bikers. Three, two, oh. Manual. Hold on. Quit. We're not going to hit reset. Because that will crash the system. Uh, supposedly. I'm not going to test it out. Take corners early and tight to keep one step ahead of your rivals or the ever ticking clock. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's pickle. Okay. English. It's only di easier medium. I'll just do medium. Record. Options. Game. Arcade time trial or Let's do arcade. So like character. Him. Peace. Okay, let's do the pink one. Okay. Margarita. I like the music so far. Finish. Pizza delivered. I'm not saying a lot right now, I'm just pretty focused, but I'm liking this. What does the kick do? 
Time out. Game over. Retry level. So am I back on the, the first pizza? I think so. And you barely get any time. I made that same mistake last time. No, I made it a little bit further, but just a little bit. Game over. Exit. All right, let's try um, time trial. Let's, let's try the green bike. Pizza one. Pizza two. Okay, so... So this game ha uh, actually keeps like your record, your score and everything. So does this game ha have an SRAM save? Because it, it had a file and everything. Watch me beat it now when I'm not in the story mode. Still no. How do you, how can you do how do you do that? Time trial. No, not time trial. Race. That's the last thing to try for this game. I like the pink one better. Race one. The race is like a completely different mode, so.
How come they can run into each other? Like, they literally ran through each other. They didn't kick each other. You lose. Try again. Well, that's pretty much the whole game. Okay, so I have one last thing to do. Um, is to let's make a safe state. Let's exit out the game, open it up, and see if it's safe like it actually kept my file. It did. Game, time trial. Yeah, record. 5313-11050. Yeah, it kept that. Okay. Very good. I liked Radical Web Bikers. That was nice. Okay. So, last up for this video is going to be Stanley, the search for Dr. Livingston. Stanley, the search for Dr. Livingston is an I is an action adventure for one player. The renowned but eccentric explorer Dr. Livingston has gone missing somewhere in the Congo while searching for the legendary Amzutuk Temple. And it's up to you to find him. Initially equipped with nothing but the gyrocopter stowed in your backpack. You will need to scavenge supplies, search for clues, and of course, do your best to stay alive. It is, as they say, a jungle out there. History. Okay, it is based on a real-life historical event, though the eccentric explorer in question was actually called Dr. Livingstone in reality. Uh, dispatched by his editor at the New York Herald to determine the fate of, the li of Livingstone, who had been missing for six years, journalist Henry Morton Stanley uh, set out for Africa in 1871. Unlike his solo quest in the game, though, the real-life Stanley traveled with the caravan of nearly 2,000 people. Katie says there are more than 100 different areas you can explore in this game. But not all of them are relevant to your quest. If somewhere seems overly dangerous or completely impassable, try heading in another direction on the map instead. Okay. Let's look at the, the manual and see if there's anything there about this game. Okay. Stanley starts without any useful items. Be sure to pick up anything you might be able to use as a weapon rather than relying on your bare hands. Okay. And the controls. Move Stanley. Use grapnel up plus B once it's acquired according to the manual. View. Uh, view input password. Select item weapon. Okay. So A. Use weapon talk. B. Jump. Use gyrocopter. Okay. That's, that's confusing. Okay, that's okay. Stanley. May, okay, let's just do, uh, let, let's just start the timer. Three, two, one, let's pickle. May 11th, having dispatched my duties at the newspaper once again, I find myself going over Dr. Livingston's notes. By now, no one, including myself, could hope to see Livingston again. Still, I'm haunted by the thoughts of what fate may have been following the good doctor. I may, I've been assigned to do the most dangerous news story of my life, to determine what happened in the Maza jungle. Against the well-intended advice of my colleagues and family, I am going to the Maza. I vow to myself that I will complete Dr. Livingston's work. May 14th, I will only be able to take the most important of Livingston's notes with me. I'm hoping that he will have left some sort of trail that I might follow. June 2nd, at long last, the ship arrives at Port Harkin. With luck, I shall be on the trail of discovery by daybreak. Okay. Okay. Did I already die? The jungle is surrounded by cliffs. So yeah, you can take fall damage. The ship sails with or without you, Stanley. Don't wait for me, Captain. I'll be staying. Aye, I thought you might. Good luck, sir. 
Mr. Stanley? Yes. Your supplies are here, but the grapnel and the machete have been stolen. Okay, level is... Okay. Interesting so far. Who are you and why have you come here? I'm looking for the temple. <gasps> okay. You move really slowly. Oh. You move really slowly. Like, extremely slowly, and it's... and it bothers me. You're entering the jungle search for a grapnel. <sighs> this game. Good day, ma'am. Hello. Well, I had two of those, and then I just immediately lost them. Don't go into the jungle without first speaking with Chilo. Who's Chilo? Well, if it isn't my old pal Stanley. Sir Jeffrey, I need your help. I'm going to find Dr. Livingston. Can you help me? He stayed uh, with me before entering the jungle. I haven't heard from him since. I told him about... I told him what I know about the temple. But he knew more. Locals say Amut still haunts the jungle. Wait, now I have a gyrocopter? When did that- when did I grab- when did I get that? Man. This is- honestly, this is boring. Just because of how slow you move. I like the whole adventuring, going around, looking for things, but how slow you move. Ah, stop that. Why do I- why can I only use a spear twice? Don't go into jungle the first speaking with Chilo. I already said that. That took forever. Look how slow I'm moving. What was the point of all that? God, Stanley, move, please move faster. That's that's my biggest complaint, is really the speed. Ow.
Good day, ma'am. Hello. Excuse me. I'm Chilo. No, I know why you've come. You follow the other one, who saw it to Temple. Yes, can you help me? You must find the Grabnol just north of town. The Calchas marked the path to the temple. Go to each one and obey the keepers. Okay. Good day, ma'am. Hello. Who are you and why have you come here? I'm looking for the temple. Gasp. I can remember Dr. Livingston. I'm, I guided him to the North Kelka. Wait, and now I'm all the way back here. Oh my gosh, this game. Is that my grapnel right there? This is a really large game, actually. Let's see, I don't know... I want to get on top of this building, but I don't think I can. Anyway, that's, uh, we're at 10 minutes already. Uh, we're at, we're actually past 10 minutes for this game already. Um. Let's go into the jungle. We made our save states, right? Yeah. Let's just go into the jungle. And see if, uh, what's there. Okay, maybe it was a bad idea to go into the jungle, because I can't survive. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay. 
Let's exit out of the game. Okay, so that was it for um That was it for this video. Um I don't know, I didn't really like that last one. Uh to be honest, that um Stanley game. I like the idea of it, but you just move so slowly and that's not really fun. But uh other than but I really liked um Zero Tolerance and uh Radical Bikers. Punch King was all right, I guess. It's not really my kind of thing, um, but it's all right if you like punch out kind of games, but that's just not really my thing. Um, but yeah, Radical, Radical Bikers is really cool. Um, it's just difficult, but if it's based off a Galco game, Galco Arcade is great. So yeah, uh, but yeah, but that's it for uh, part two of Pico Collection 3. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice time. I'm Joshua 600 and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch where you can watch this stuff live. And yeah, okay. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.